Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome and thank you so much for joining us for our live webinar today on how to drive value with call tracking. My name is Kim Jaso and I'm the content marketing manager here at Call Tracking Metrics. I'll be moderating today's presentation to share how call tracking can benefit your business and specifically some of the tools here at Call Tracking Metrics that can help you deliver on your goals, whether that's for your own business or for your clients if you're heading up an agency. Now, if you're anything like us, you've already made some progress on your Q1 goals, but are looking for ways to do even more, whether that's driving more leads, figuring out how you can strategically get your more qualified leads to convert even sooner. Hopefully today's presentation will be informative and generate some ideas for you moving forward. But we thought all of this would be way more helpful and interesting to hear directly from one of our own customers about how they're using call tracking effectively for their clients which is why we're very excited to be joined today by one of our awesome agency partners, 415 Digital. They'll be speaking directly about their experience using call tracking metrics and how they tackle all sorts of, of digital growth challenges for their clients on our platform. Before we dive in, however, I wanted to highlight just a couple quick housekeeping notes. If at any point you experience issues with the audio or visual for the presentation, please let us know by either raising your hand or sending us a message in the chat panel within Zoom. And if you have any questions during today's presentation, you can submit them in the questions box and we'll save some time at the end to go through those. Lastly, we will be sending out a recording of today's webinar. So if you do miss any parts, don't worry, you'll be able to revisit the conversation later. Now, I'd like to introduce our presenters for today. As I mentioned, my name is Kim Jaso and I'm the content marketing manager here at Culture Metrics. I'm joined by Stephen Edmondson, who's the Director of Client Services for 415 Digital, which is a boutique digital growth firm specializing in the full service management of digital media efforts. Stephen has worked both on the in-house and agency side throughout his career. Before joining 415 Digital, he was the head of global SEM and remarketing operations at one of the largest life sciences companies in the world. Today, he helps clients of all sizes from SMBs to multinational enterprises with their digital marketing efforts. Welcome, Stephen. Next, I'm pleased to introduce Jason Smith from our team here at Call Tracking Metrics. Jason is our sales engineer and one of our original CTM employees, and as such, is truly an expert on our platform and its full range of capabilities. He's been in sales and customer service for over 15 years, and before CTM specialized in telecom sales to enterprise business clients where his primary focus was cloud hosting solutions and global private networks. Today, he's focused on providing solutions to our customers and helping them identify the best use of the service to meet their business needs. Welcome as well, Jason. Okay, and now for a quick look at our agenda for today. First, Stephen's going to give us a quick overview of the benefits call tracking provides for your business. Then he'll go into a couple success stories 415 Digital has found using CTM for their clients. Lastly, Jason will walk through some of the additional functionality unique to the CTM platform that can really have an impact on your bottom line and not just level up your digital marketing and communications efforts, but also your overall workforce efficiency to, to deliver value across your entire organization. We'll also, of course, save some time for Q&A at the end. And now, without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Steven to kick us off. All right, thank you, Kim. So I'll be covering uh, why you should be using call tracking uh, from the perspective of business owners or marketers, not just on the agency side, but also in-house. So these are my top four reasons. Um, there may be other reasons that you can think of, but these are the ones that have stood out for me uh, and my clients. First and foremost, it gives you insights into offline and online conversion actions. So if you're just tracking online conversion actions like a lead form, you're missing out on all those people that are calling in. So you're missing the true value of your campaigns. Second, call tracking helps you prove quality, not just quantity. So you can get insights about the lead value or lead quality rather than just the count of a lead. You also get uh, provided valuable insights to your clients or can provide valuable insights to your clients. Uh, things like script optimization, frequently asked questions, etc. Uh, finally, 
it can help facilitate a collaboration between teams. We'll get more into that in the coming slide. So what do we mean by tracking offline and online sales? Uh, basically, call tracking gives you a more accurate picture of your digital channel's true CPA or true performance. A uh, great example that I have later on, uh, we had a client that was simply only counting online lead form completions. But as soon as we turned on call tracking, we found that, hey, we were missing half the picture. Uh, and our CPA suddenly looked much, much better for our paid channels. Uh, this obviously then helps you with smarter optimization. If you get a more accurate picture of performance for your digital channels, you can then allocate marketing dollars where it's going to make the biggest difference for you, both online and offline with calls. All right, so next, improve quality, not just quantity. So by this, I mean that tools like call tracking metrics actually let you listen to calls. So you can do audits internally and identify what constitutes a quality of high uh, or lead of high quality. So then you can route those to the proper agents within your team or flag irrelevant calls and get them out of your system. Quality leads can then also be tracked back to the source. So not only can, per my pre previous note, uh, you see the offline sales. Now you can say, okay, these offline calls, what, what is the quality of them? Where are they coming from? Is it from Google? Is it from Facebook? From somewhere else? So it also provides you with valuable insights uh, beyond just the quality. Things that you would miss if you're just looking at the two-dimensional lead forms. A uh, great example is eagerness to buy. How ready is this person to actually, do they just need to be routed to a salesperson and, and they're ready to go? Um, are there specific areas of concern that they have? Are there trends in what people are saying? Frequently asked questions. Hey, everyone who calls in is saying the same thing, X, Y, and Z. How do we address that? Um, and even potentially uh, get you additional context. One insight uh, for one of our clients, uh, we had a call one time that I listened to that essentially was a person saying, hey, I'm not the decision maker, but I am the person writing the recommendation. So that told us, okay, the sales person needs to know that they're talking with someone who's helping collect information, but they're not the final decision maker. So maybe they need to go after that person too. And then finally, it also these insights can be used to help improve your call scripts and your paid media campaigns. You can identify areas of strengths or weaknesses in how calls are answered. You can improve upon that. Same thing with digital campaigns, if you can identify quality leads are coming from one channel versus another, you can push marketing dollars into that channel. Call tracking also helps with collaboration between teams. And by this, it's really helping everyone kind of see the bigger picture. So things like trends in lead quality can be shared. If you can identify, hey, calls from this location, maybe I'm, my business is in California, but I'm getting a lot of calls from New York. Why is that? What do we need to do to be able to capture that? audience and, and actually sell them our product or services. Our call time is really, really long. Is, is there something that the head of the sales department needs to know that, hey, calls are taking too long or maybe calls are too short. What can I do with my sales team uh, to help improve that? Um, and then channel performance as well, as I mentioned. Uh, so from sales, marketing, uh, receptionists answering the phone line, it lets everyone kind of get an, an idea of how things are actually performing and trends that could be useful to help them do their job better. So call track metrics also include certain tools that help move callers from one step to the next. So a person who's answering the calls, like I said earlier, can then flag a call and say, oh, this is not a relevant call. So make sure that this one doesn't go into our sales force and, and waste the salesperson's time by having to go call this person that we know is not qualified uh, or actually assign leads to specific sales reps and do that too, or assign emails to callers, send follow-ups, that it's really great for helping internal employees do their job better. Right, so some success stories. Uh, we have two examples of success stories where we uh, use call tracking to help improve uh, a client's performance. The first is a small SMB in the San Francisco Bay Area. They're, they do commercial cleaning, um, relatively small business, but B2B trying to be uh, a big player in this, in this industry on a relatively small budget. So we need to 
A, improve their user experience on the phone calls and be able to quantify lead quality for them with a very limited budget. So the way we did this, uh, they actually had call tracking in place through another vendor, um, but it wasn't set up very robustly so that they could actually learn uh, and then act upon things. It was very simple integration. So, but first thing we wanted to do was review every call and we were able to do that. So we were looking for lead quality and user experience. So the people that, who were the people that were coming in, how qualified were they? And then what was the experience for these qualified or unqualified users? Were we getting them in or out of the funnel in, in methods that we needed to? What we found was that after reviewing calls, it was very apparent that the one loan receptionist that this business had was not the right person to handle sales calls. They were more of just a gatekeeper of, hey, you want to have lunch with the CEO? Great. Hey, you want to schedule a cleaning service? Okay, I need to route you to someone else. So it was not a good experience. And we actually wrote a whole new call script for that person so that her life was made easier. So she would know how to handle these types of inquiries that were coming in, but also then identify if people were qualified or unqualified. And then secondly, we started researching third party answering services that could essentially augment or help that receptionist since that was not really their main role at the company so that they would have backup to help with that. Um, and finally, we also integrated their call tracking with Salesforce so that they had automated tracking, essentially pumping call information, lead information into their Salesforce platform where, where the sales team could then uh, review calls and denote if it was of quality or not. The result of this, um, or one big kind of key learning from this was that once we had call tracking set up properly, we identified that 57% of all leads from SEM campaigns were actually coming from calls. So what does this mean? Well, let's say we had uh, 100 calls come in, 57 of those calls were actually coming, or sorry, 50, 100 leads coming in total, 57% of those were coming from calls, so offline. They weren't tracking calls originally, passing that data back into the platforms, in this case, the Google Ads platform. So all we were seeing on the surface was the lead form captured. So we were basically only seeing 43% of all leads that were actually coming in. So as soon as we added this, we said, oh great, we pretty much doubled our lead volume. And it means that the metrics on our end for KPIs around CPA or cost per action were much improved. So the net net call tracking metrics for this client is a really inexpensive way and effective way to show a, the real value of paid search. But we pretty much doubled the leads we saw coming because we got better tracking. Uh, two, identified areas of weakness for the existing user experience on the phone, right? The, the users calling in were not getting the best experience possible. And so they were losing qualified leads simply because of that experience. We wanted to improve that. And then also uh, we were able to identify and track lead quality from calls and get that passed into the client's CRM. All right, for the second client, uh, very different business. Uh, this is a client that is essentially a network of 175 physical therapy clinics across the Eastern seaboard of the US. Uh, and they provide personalized treatments for their customers. So make an appointment, meet with your, almost like a, uh, a uh, health and fitness coach at a gym, right? People would come in, but help with physical therapy. Their challenge was very similar. They had call tracking in place, but it was not set up to really get insights about who these callers were, where they were coming from, or to quantify uh, the qualified leads at all. So they need our help in optimizing um, on all of these fronts. So some additional challenges, uh, as I mentioned, they had call tracking, but the way they had it set up, it was literally just one phone number tracking everything. So there were no insights into where calls were coming from. It was either a, an ad or the website, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we didn't know, okay, what ad was it coming from? What channel was it coming from? What page on the website was it coming from? And all of these things matter for optimization. So it was really important that we got that locked in. So our methodology here first was, A, let's make sure your conversion tracking is set up properly. The instrumentation is key so that we can then pull um, valuable insights. Two, 
we had to identify a unique KPI that would signal higher quality calls, um, either manually or automatically. Uh, in the case of this client, they did not have the resources internally to manually review calls and check off if it was qualified or not, uh, because they get 100, with 175 locations, they get thousands of calls uh, a week, hundreds of calls a day. So they just didn't have the capacity to do that. So we had to automatically identify, okay, what is a threshold on these calls? What's a, a metric that we can use as a barometer to say this is qualified or not? And finally, uh, we started optimizing their campaigns for actual bookings from calls once we were able to identify what that KPI was. So our solution A was, okay, let's take call tracking metrics, analyze several historic months of calls that they had tracked from all sources, because that's all we had, and we identified if a call reached 180 seconds, we could make that, that kind of safe assumption that 92, 93% of these folks actually lead to an appointment. So we could say with some certainty that, okay, if a call reaches 180 seconds, we know that it's qualified at the very least. It may not ultimately lead to a sale, but it's at least qualified. Two, we expanded uh, the available phone number pool, or uh, a lot of folks, uh, our platforms call it like a keyword phone number pool. In this case, we just wanted to make sure we could tell where these calls are coming from, by source, what web page, what ads and channels that they're coming from. We also made sure that this call tracking data was then pushed back into the ad network so that we could optimize on it. We wouldn't have to switch between two platforms to try and figure this out. We could actually do it directly in the platforms, in this case, Google Ads as well as Facebook. Uh, and then finally, we optimized paid campaigns for those high value calls, those ones that were reaching that 180 second KPI. Here the result was we identified in our, in our initial kind of screening of calls that, hey, you're tracking all calls that are coming in. So we are saying that some portion of these are going to go into our CPA calculation. But we found that 60% of the calls were actually unqualified. So they were grossly overcounting uh, what they would call qualified leads on their end. And that needed to be adjusted. So we also were able to identify with these extra numbers that from a paid search standpoint, 35% of their calls were actually coming from these specific ad, a specific ad type called click to call ads, which is uh, like a mobile ad type. When you do a search, you see an ad with a phone number and if you click on it, it just immediately calls that number rather than going to a website. So this was important because mobile had never been a priority for this client. Uh, they, they were not convinced that it was really a good way for them to advertise. They were convinced that people would do some research on the phone maybe, uh, but then they would go to the desktop to actually then fill out the conversion for lead form um, or then call in after doing research on the desktop. We found that that wasn't true. This data shows that, hey, a huge portion of people are actually just on their mobile devices ready to call you right away. So that actually, those learnings changed the way we structured the account. We focused more heavily on mobile and we started uh, doing more of those click to call ads. So the net result was it A, helped us prove that there was more value in paid search channels at driving qualified leads because yes, 60% of those leads that they were collecting from calls were not qualified, but we knew that 40% were. We could, and then we could identify within the Google campaigns, hey, here's the campaigns that are driving those qualified leads. And then finally, it also gave the digital teams, us, uh, the ability to then optimize towards those qualified leads. Uh, this chart, just for those who are wondering, is essentially showing the breakout. So you can see month one, two, and three, it's essentially just one number. Um, and then as soon as we got accurate call tracking set up, you can see the ad extensions, as I mentioned, so these click call ads are essentially 35% of our calls. And that actually grew as we expanded out to do more mobile testing. So initially, again, it wasn't a big priority for us, so we didn't do a lot of it. And then we started really blowing it out. You can see that it, it continued to drive and expand as a larger, a larger portion of the calls that were actually coming in. So this was a big win for them. They could automatically get calls, call quality, quantify it, and then optimize for it. So I know that was a lot in a very short period of time. Uh, so I wanted to give everyone three key takeaways. If there's anything you remember from, from my portion, uh, let this be it. One, call tracking can make or break your numbers, right? That 
uh, the SMB, it doubled our lead count. So it immediately made the channel that much better. Right. Let, let call checking help you with that accuracy because it also helped you figure out where to allocate your marketing dollars. Two, call checking will give you insights about your potential customers uh, or your customers if they're calling in as well. You can use this to improve the user experience. How they engage with your brand can be directly influenced by what people are saying when they call in. And you should pay attention to what they're saying and optimize for that. Three, call checking helps you make and keep customers, right? With these insights that you can then apply to optimization on your paid campaigns to find more audiences that are going to drive qualified leads to then how do you talk to these qualified leads? How do you make sure that they're getting to the right people internally? You know, utilizing the, the call tracking tools that are available to make life easier for you and your employees who are all involved with trying to convert a lead to a sale. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Stephen. That was super helpful to hear. And I found it really interesting just to see some of those results that you shared. Um, at this time, we're going to transition things over to Jason, who's going to speak more about some of the tools unique to CTM that can help level up your marketing and communication strategy. Hey, everybody. So you have a lot of choices out there when it comes to call tracking today up to and including vendors like Google have call tracking offerings. Um, but some of the things that I wanted to highlight were what sets CTM apart and what's unique to the call tracking metrics platform. Um, before I dive into some of the nitty gritty, the, the biggest differentiator for us is that we not only provide all of this great marketing insight on the front end and uh, cutting edge attribution tools, to get you down to the keyword level and tracking your PPC ads. But we also offer a full phone system replacement solution with our web-based soft phone on the back end. So we can not only be the, the marketing attribution tool, but we can actually be the tool that your agents are using to make and receive all of their phone calls. And you might be saying that I'm not interested in selling phone systems to my customers, but there's a lot of value for somebody that's interested in the attribution and being able to pull some of these call distribution capabilities out of that call center silo. And that would be things like the auto attendant and IVR menus. Having the, the caller self-identify at the front end of the phone calls gives you another powerful dimension that you can use in your reporting. Um, you know, maybe I'm spending a lot of money on Google paid ads and everybody's calling in and speaking to my support team. They're all existing customers. So we can help optimize and give you insight into that kind of thing as well as uh, distributing your phone calls for you. So uh, the, the first point here is the, the Google Ads Direct Connect. So historically, up until about last year, call tracking metrics did everything with Google through our Google Analytics integration. So we would do that by sending an offline event into Google Analytics with our session data that we could match back to the GCLID and Google Analytics and present that in our CTM dashboard. As of last year, we rolled out the Google Ads Direct Connect where we were communicating directly with the Google Ads API. And this allowed us to get a true bi-directional communication without having to leverage that Google Analytics middleman. So this allows us to set call criteria, your custom criteria, what do you deem as a conversion and uh, pick up the, the GCLID from Google and communicate a conversion back to your Google Ads account. Um, another benefit to this Direct Connect is being able to instantly spin up sub accounts. So for a new agency that's coming to call tracking metrics, you have the ability to link your master account to your CTM account and decide which of those child accounts that you're managing in Google Analytics do you want to use to create a CTM sub account. So it makes moving over to, to CTM for your call tracking vendor to manage your clients or for the multiple entities that you manage, uh, very easy. Within just a few clicks, you're, you're spinning up the, the whole enterprise organization that you need to manage here. Um, it also allows us to customize and automate that conversion tracking. So as I mentioned, not all uh, calls are conversions necessarily. So in CTM, 
we now have the ability to say maybe I want to have a call that has talk time more than 180 seconds, like Stephen mentioned uh, for his client, before we communicate a conversion event directly to Google Ads. We also now have the ability to directly influence click to call uh, or call extension ads. Um, in the past, these types of ads, the way that they're generated is someone clicks on the number directly in the ad to initiate the phone call. They never get routed to a website or a landing page. So we didn't have any session data that we could use to match back to that caller. Well, this Google Ads direct integration allows us to get that attribution to identify uh, the actual click, so to speak, and uh, communicate that click to call or call extension call as a conversion directly into Google Ads, which is huge for us and provides a lot of additional insight. Uh, another handy tool with this Google Ads direct connection is the diagnostic reporting and monitoring uh, that's available. So after you set up the integration, you link Google and call tracking metrics, then we provide a nice interface where you can actually evaluate all of the landing pages that are connected and we'll show you insights like, do we detect a, a target number on this landing page? Or maybe you set up this landing page and we didn't have any number uh, that we can find and replace. So obviously our dynamic number insertion is going to work and call tracking metrics isn't going to be getting that data. So it, it really helps get some insight, uh, high level troubleshooting without having to dig in and sift through the source code on every landing page to figure out where you went wrong. So another uh, big differentiator that we bring to the table is our agency focused features. So the, the biggest vertical that we work with, the, the vertical that we've had the most success with over the years has been working with marketing agencies. Um, so with that in mind, we've really gone out of our way to make that experience as, as pleasant as possible and provide the, the most powerful tools that we can for our agency customers. And some of these things are the ability to have unlimited sub accounts under one master uh, account login. So you aren't paying an additional fee if you're an agency that's coming to call tracking metrics and you want to manage five clients under your umbrella. Uh, this also pairs well if you're a, a you know, home services company and you're managing multiple locations, having a safe and segmented sub account with its own call log, its own reporting dashboards and its own users that you can safely provide access to that individual data. And then as an agency user, you have the ability to look at that and see how it rolls up for the total picture, all of your accounts combined. We also offer some white label options. Uh, so I'd like to break this out into two different options. We have what we call the co-branded white label option where you're providing call tracking metrics to your clients on a custom subdomain of ours. So it could be your agency calltrackingapp.com where your clients go to log in. And on this uh, co-branded white label, we give you the ability to put your own logo on the site, customize your login screen, uh, show whatever you want to your clients for a help section, and uh, customize the, the notifications that are going out and the, the headers and footers of emails. Um, and all of this stuff happens on, again, our domain. So you're kind of uh, transparent with the idea that you're partnering with call tracking metrics to deliver deliver this solution and then we also offer a true white label product where we're doing all of those same customizations but we're putting this all on a subdomain of your own so it might be calls.youragency.com where your clients go to log in and in that instance we're doing everything we can to kind of put up a veil and this looks like a solution that you're hosting internally and providing directly to your clients and there's no breaks back to the call tracking metrics website pricing or, or documentation. Another popular feature for agencies is billing on your own terms. So we have some flexible billing options for you in this agency account structure, whereby you can either fund all of your clients usage directly and then bill your clients for what they use at the end of the month or include this as a value add to your clients if you'd like to. Uh, we also give you the option to have your clients put their own credit card on file. Uh, you as the agency would fund the subscription fee, but your clients are paying for their own numbers and minutes 
either directly to call tracking metrics or with markups through our Stripe integration. And then the real time reporting. So as Steven mentioned, there's, there's all kinds of data points here. There's all kinds of information that we're providing. Uh, so being able to log in and see this stuff in real time, see the calls that are coming in that are ringing right now and historically all the calls that we've ever received to any of these tracking numbers. So the last uh, differentiator I'll talk about here is our conversion insights. Um, so sophisticated routing for phone calls. Uh, as I mentioned, this is one of the, the pieces that a lot of marketing companies draw from uh, our, our call center as a service silo and how we distribute the phone calls. So this can be things like geo routing the phone calls. We can use either the caller's area code, the caller's zip code, or even the IP address of the web visitor to determine which of your parties are the best to receive this call. So you can imagine if you've got um, locations in New York, Texas, and California, somebody clicks in from the website, uh, we're showing 1-800 number on that website, but based on that visitor's IP address, we know which of your call centers is the, the local operation to send this call to. Um, this can also be things like our smart routers where we have conditional routing logic. There's a, a slew of different data points, things that we might know about this caller at the front end of the call where we can pretty dynamically distribute that call to the appropriate place. Uh, this could be things like, has this person called us in the past? Did they visit this specific landing page in their journey? And if so, then we're going to deviate from the standard call flow. We're not going to send them to that regular voice menu that everybody else hits, but we're gonna send them to a specific team of agents because we know that's a, somebody that's ready to buy. And then we have just your basic call queues. Other phone companies call them ring groups, but this allows you to put multiple agents into a single ring group that we point your tracking numbers to. So uh, in, in most call tracking vendors, it's a simple call forward, a one-to-one -one ratio, but the call queues would allow you to say, put 10 real estate agents in a group and determine how, when, and where we're gonna send them calls. Uh, whether it's a round robin or a simultaneous ring pattern, and what's the no answer scenario? If we've given all 10 agents 120 seconds to answer that call, what do we wanna do with it then? Do we wanna to default to a main number? Do we wanna send it to a voicemail box and email everybody with the voicemail recording? Uh, those are some of the, the routing options that we support. Uh, next here is the, the keyword spotting and tags. So this is uh, how we provide speech analytics. We give you the ability to transcribe all of these phone calls, have a full text log of every conversation that comes into any of your numbers. And with that text log of the conversation, we can set up keyword spotting based on things that either the caller is saying or the agent are saying. Uh, the most basic action that I see people take with this is we'll tag a call. Because they said this word or phrase, we're going to throw a tag on that call in the CTM dashboard. And then that becomes a dimension that you can use in your reporting. I want to see all the people that called in from this paid ad and asked for this specific product or that specific product. But there's a, a lot of different use cases for this. And uh, there's a lot of different workflows that we can enable based on the presence or the absence of those specific keywords. Uh, things like sending an automated text message or um, based on, you know, some, some of the more foul keywords that we detect, maybe we want to send a manager an email letting them know that we've got an irate customer on the phone. And then uh, the last thing here is unifying all the communications in the one single platform. So being your one-stop shop for every line of communication that we can get under this roof. So in addition to tracking your phone calls, we also have great solutions for tracking form fills that come in on your website. Uh, we can make those so they're click to call form. Somebody fills out the form on the website. It instantly initiates a phone call to your team. Uh, we support text messaging, just about every number that we provide in the US and Canada and a lot of other countries around the globe uh, supports text messaging. So we can send and receive text messages from these numbers. Uh, we can do bulk text messages where you upload a list of people that have opted in to receive this type of communication. And you can send out a text blast, either uh, scheduled at a future date, 
right now, or we could send that at a recurring interval. And with those text messages, we support uh, text triggers where based on a specific phrase in a text message, I can have an automated response that goes out to automatically kind of kick off that text dialogue. So for example, if you sent me a text message with the phrase ice cream, I could reply with a 25% coupon code on your next uh, soft serve vanilla cone. And uh, we also track chats under this platform. So if you've got a widget on your website, you're inviting people to chat with you. We can be the chat widget that goes on your website. All of the visitors that are coming to the website and interacting with that chat widget are going to be displayed for you in real time in the call tracking metrics call log where your agents can be logged in and instantly replying to those website visitors through our chat interface. And uh, our live support is world class. We have a, a great team of support representatives here. We have very low turnover, so most of the people here uh, have a few years under their belt at least. Um, our support team's available Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 7.30 Eastern time, and Friday from 7.30 to 5.30. Uh, you can access the support team through phone, chat, or email, or right under the help section of your account. We offer uh, additional professional services options. Um, if you need something beyond our, our standard support offering, we can assign a project manager for any type of complex build out or any kind of setup that you'd like to delegate to our team. And then we also have a, a healthy roster of live training events on various topics that run throughout the month. And I'm confident that uh, after you interact with our support team, you'll agree that they are the best in the industry. Awesome, thanks for that, Jason. So that wraps up the content portion of today's presentation. Now we'd like to take some time for Q&A from the audience. So if you have any burning questions, now's the time to ask. Um, to kick us off, I do see we already have one question from the audience asking about PCI compliance. Um, so Jason, maybe you could take this one and just speak a little bit to how our platform is PCI compliant. Absolutely. So. We have, uh, off of our transcription feature, we have a setting that will enable your use of call tracking metrics to be PCI compliant, and that is an automated redaction functionality. So uh, with the transcriptions on, we can automatically detect when a credit card or a, a CCV code or a social security number was spoken in the conversation, and we have the ability to automatically redact all of that information to where when you go back and listen to the recording or read the transcription, that'll be blurred out in the transcription and you'll hear a, a beep like it was a, a dirty word on primetime TV. Cool, uh, the next question we have is, how many outbound calls per hour does your system provide? Uh, someone is looking to make sure that due to the, the small size of their business that their outbound calls can be handled properly. Uh, that's a great question. So we can handle outbound calls. Those outbound calls would be done through our web-based soft phone. It's available on any of the plans that we offer. Uh, you have the ability anywhere that you can access a browser and pull up the, the tool. Um, you can access a, a phone panel. And when you're connected with the headset and a microphone to your computer, that's all you need to make your outbound calls. Uh, there is a, a per minute fee for the outbound calls, just like the inbound. And there is a limit of one per second by default. So uh, aside from very high volume applications, we, we typically find that most outbound dialing doesn't even come close to bumping up against that limitation. The limitation is really gonna be, what's your budget to spend on the outbound dialing solution? Uh, on our higher end plans, on the contact center plan, we even provide things like an auto dialer where you can bring a, a list of records to us and we'll go down the list and dispatch outbound calls to your agents that are logged in. And uh, other people are using that with our triggers where we can say, because a call came in and it was missed after hours, nobody was available, then that the, the triggered action is to add that record to an auto dialer. So you can imagine you miss a call, 
uh, late at night and the first agent that logs in in the morning acknowledges they're ready for uh, to accept calls, we're instantly connecting them with those missed calls. Great. Another question we have, do you have any pre-built keyword spotting scripts for certain industries that you work with a lot? For example, the dental industry. We don't today. Um, so we, we believe that, you know, we don't want to, we're not in the, the dental industry. So we're not qualified to tell you what's a, a good call. We prefer to give you the blank slate and uh, you can build out to accommodate what, what's a good call for your industry. That has been something that, that we've kicked around. Does it make sense for us to add templates? Um, so you may see that in the future, but today it's, it's kind of a blank slate and we'll work with you if you tell us what's a good call for your business or your industry. Great. Uh, another question we have is about short codes and whether CTM offers that for clients. Yes, we do offer short codes. Um, the, the short codes have been a, a little bit cost prohibitive. It, it's pretty expensive and there's a long lead time to procure the short codes. Um, where most people end up going is with a 10 digit number because with CTM, we can support a lot of the same capabilities that you're getting out of a short code with any 10 digit local or toll free number. The biggest value add that I see for using short codes is the, the very high throughput that they support. So where a normal uh, local number supports one text per second and a toll free number supports three texts per second, a short code supports hundreds of text messages per second. So uh, a national brand like Walmart that's putting a call to action to text this number in, in the Sunday paper, they may need a short code to accommodate that kind of throughput. Um, but for, for most other applications, we can get by with using like a, a catchy 10 digit number, something that ends in lots of zeros and you can do all of the same kind of things and, um, you know, keyword responses to the text and automated responses and notifications. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jason. It looks like that's about all the questions we have for today. Um, if you have any more, feel free to email us. You know, we have our contact information up on this slide. Um, and again, we'll be sending out a recap of today's presentation. So you can always reply to that email and we'll be happy to address any questions that you have. Um, so I just wanted to give another round of thanks to our presenters today, Steven from 415 Digital and Jason from our team here at Call Tracking Metrics. And also a big thank you to everyone for joining. Um, it was really fun and, you know, if, again, if you do have any questions, feel free to email us and uh, we'll be in touch with you soon. So thank you again and hope everyone has a great rest of your day.